Okay, so welcome to the Bookmap platform details. It's Friday, August 11th, and the risk disclaimer, equities, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com. You become a member there, and uh, you have free resources. Uh, and then um, uh, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Okay, so uh, here is the website, and uh, you can see the, uh, well, this is the webinar you signed up for. Now, I have a new link that I'll, I'll uh, as soon as this webinar is over, uh, I'll update it so you'll be able to register for next week's webinars, okay, for the platform details. Members, you can log in here and then uh, explore. Let's click on that. Uh, for those of you who are new here, uh, then... Uh, first stop, I, I would just recommend watching some of these intro videos just to get a feel for what Bookmap is. And then uh, I want to show you where you can uh, try Bookmap. Okay, you get a 14 day trial period. Okay, so here it is. Uh, and um, there's just two versions of Bookmap the basic and the advanced. Uh, they're built quarterly, and the, and the difference between the two are the, uh, the add ons and the ability to trade from the chart. All right, so. Uh, uh, some pretty powerful add-ons and then obviously nice advantage to be able to trade from the chart because we can see the liquidity in the book and then we can uh, uh, hide our orders behind high liquidity or front run high liquidity to try to uh, get higher probability of a fill uh, with our orders. Okay. All right. And you can follow us here on YouTube. Uh, I'm sorry, on Twitter. Uh, get up-to-date information here. Uh, about um, a book map and other um, uh, retweets and what other traders are doing. Uh, and then you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you're new here, I'd recommend watching a few of the features and components and then a few of maybe these uh, order flow video snippets to understand how to, how to use book map, what you're looking at. Uh, and then I uh, highly recommend watching the uh, uh, some of the uh, educational course here, Get Started. Uh, it goes through these markets and how they trade and, and are dominated algorithmically and then how uh, you get you can uh, start to uh, see that transparency uh, uh, using uh, software today uh, and then uh, uh, organize and uh, uh, understand how to um, uh, see structure uh, market mechanics and then organize uh, strategies to uh, uh, take advantage. Uh, some of that okay and then the uh, recorded webinar details are for the platform details are here okay let's jump in and uh, go ahead and ask any questions that you have uh, and um, be happy to to answer anything uh, you know what I'm gonna start off with a poll uh, I want to ask you guys something okay and uh, we'll launch this right now okay so Let's uh, let's take a look at that. If you could just answer um, uh, what what it is that um, uh, you are. Um, oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. What, what markets are you more interested in? I'm sorry. This is the wrong poll. Let me close that one. Okay. I'm sorry. I selected the wrong one here. <laughs> okay. Where is it? Um, Huh, okay, I don't see it listed. Let me try this one then. Okay, let's launch this one. Okay. And uh, yeah, let, me, let us know what uh, what you're interested in here, um, you know, from, from this webinar. Are you looking for uh, education uh, of book map features? Uh, or, you know, are you looking for uh, learning about um, or discovering new order flow tools and how to integrate into your trading uh, or to, uh, to learn about order flow in the live markets? And I'll leave this open for uh, another minute or so. So you know we'll we'll tailor these uh, these webinars for you. Mm 
Okay, get one more, one more person to vote there. Uh, your feedback is important to us. Okay. All right. Great. All right. Looks pretty good. Okay. So uh, the winner is uh, uh, learn about order flow in live markets. I'll just uh, let you guys know. We'll close the poll. Thanks for voting there. Uh, and let me show my screen again. Okay. So uh, now you guys can see my screen again. Just uh, if you can just say yes. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, great. No prize. <laughs> uh, there's no right answer, Jim. <laughs> I know you're joking. Um, but um, uh, yeah, no, no new, new free car uh, doesn't, doesn't come along with uh, the, the, the prize there. Um, so uh, let's, uh, Let's jump in here, and uh, we don't have much time actually, but that, that's okay because uh, you guys can, uh, you know, we'll just uh, flow right into the uh, the next webinar. Uh, but um, there's a couple of new guys in here uh, reaching out to. Uh, let's see, I think uh, Uri, uh, Edwin, um, uh, Christian, uh, a few few other guys here. Uh, so you know, I, I think you guys are. Um, uh, new to uh, to Bookmap here, uh, so um, you know I, I want to welcome you uh, in here, and, and and this is your your uh, opportunity to answer or to ask any questions and, and get those answered uh, for you, uh, so that uh, then we can move on. Uh, so um, uh, let's uh, start off by just simply going through, and I have to do this a little a little quicker than usual. Uh, so, uh, and that, that's fine. We, we do this every single day, uh, to go through here just to show the, um, uh, the new traders, what you're looking at here. And, and you'll get a lot of insight in the order flow as I do this as well. So it's a little bit of analysis, uh, at the same moment here. All right. Okay. Just looking at a very basic, uh, candlestick chart and we're looking at oil here. Uh, and, um, uh, pretty interesting stuff that the figure down here, I was looking for this earlier this morning and uh, right to it, tapped it, and you can see the reaction at 48. Anyway, we'll get into analysis in just a second. In a basic candlestick chart, you're looking at open high, low close of a specific time frame. In this case, it's a five minute chart. Most of us are very familiar and are making trading decisions based on only four data points here. Uh, this not much. I mean, it's really about 1%, uh, not even 5% of uh, of the market data that's out there. Uh, and uh, so we're making uninformed trading decisions based on an antiquated charting uh, methodology here. Uh, and um, uh, this was developed by uh, uh, Japanese rice traders like, uh, you know, hundreds of years ago, several hundreds of years ago. Uh, so let's uh, let's move on and let's get a lot more clarity and transparency uh, to make more informed trading decisions. Okay, for example, the volume. It's a problem here. Where did the volume take place? We want to know where where traders are committed. Uh, it gives us a lot of insight uh, to uh, the um, a probable uh, price movement. Okay, so uh, we can see a volume chart here, sub chart. And most, most of us are looking at something like that. And you can see there's a lot of volume here, uh, so not surprisingly at the figure, um, you know, to, uh, to see that uh, in, a, in a nice move, right, on a big candle. So, um, uh, you know, that, that's helpful, but we still don't know um, what type of volume it was. Was it aggressive market uh, buys or market sells? We don't know where it took place on the candlestick chart. I have no idea. Uh, and um, uh, we, we don't know... Um, uh, how much uh, exactly uh, traded and, and where. So uh, we'll, we'll solve that issue here. Okay. We'll just, uh, we're going to turn on and I'm going to first, I'm going to turn on the best bid and offer. 
okay? Historical best bid and offer, and uh, we already have transparency here just by looking at that piece of data. Okay, look at the little sideways. Um, you can see the, you know, uh, move to the downside here. Uh, and then this candlestick here between these two vertical dotted lines, this is what, what occurred. This is the price action. So why is this more transparent already? Because we're starting to see microstructure. Okay. This is a pattern we've gone through so many times, uh, and we just continue to see it again and again. Uh, in fact, I, I just uh, can very easily draw in a lot, horizontal line right there, breaking structure here, and then we see the move to the upside. We're going to see the order flow here, and we're going to get a lot more insight to what occurred in some of these areas. Okay, There's also another break of it here. Okay, Structure, sideways consolidation, break of it. Uh, one tap to the downside rejection, and then a, a nice move up out of that into a new range, okay, microstructural range. We come up and test the high of the previous range, though, the bigger picture range. Uh, that's, that's here, okay. All right, so a lot of insight just by looking at this information, but let's turn on the volume and take a, take a real look at what, what happened here, okay. Well, you can see uh, there's a lot of trap volume down here, all right? Uh, and we're going to see a lot of absorption down here. Uh, larger players uh, are going to be placing their, their limit orders down here in absorbing price. Uh, and we'll get to the limit orders in just a minute. But we can see that the majority of the sellers down here, the aggressive sellers, are completely trapped. And they're going to cover uh, up in some of these areas here if we don't see continuation of the breakdown. And we certainly do not. It rejected. The breakdown rejected. It came right back into the range. And very quickly, uh, within minutes, uh, we had really good price movement to the upside here to test the high of the range. Okay. Now we're getting real insight to where these where these traders are uh, committed uh, and where they might become uh, um, uh, you know, natural buyers, uh, forced to buy. As soon as they hit the sell button here, they are now buyers. Okay, and this is just uh, how, how the market works, right? Look at the aggressive buying here within this candlestick. This is all n not seen at all within this five-minute period, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, if you're looking at a footprint chart, uh, if you're looking at maybe a one-minute footprint chart, it would be more helpful. Uh, but even that period is going to be aggregated data, right? So, for example, uh, if I zoom in here, just click on the hand tool, hover over an area, and let's zoom in here. And um, uh, let me let me move this line here just a little bit. It's kind of getting in our way. All right, there we go. Okay, so here's our historical best bid and offer, and here are the this is the aggressive buying right here. Okay, it's the green dots. Right, someone hit the they they wanted uh, in bad enough that they they crossed the spread. They hit the market buy button, and a transaction occurred on the uh, the best uh, best offer. They took liquidity from the best offer. Okay, market sells the opposite. They hit the market sell button, uh, crossed the spread, paid up for it, and they took liquidity off of the best bid. Right, so you can see it all unfold here, and uh, in Bookmap. Uh, we don't aggregate the data. It, it's just it's a complex event processor. It's a very powerful um, uh, uh, platform uh, uh, engine here uh, that um, uh, can we, we can handle all of these millions of data points. As I continue to zoom in here, look what really unfolded here. Okay, we we can see that uh, there's a lot of detail here. Uh, and it's all we're down at uh, at just millisecond level here. We can continue on uh, and go down into uh, even nanosecond level. Uh, we're still at microsecond level here. Now we're down at nanosecond level. Okay, we're talking billions of seconds here. Okay, and it's all recorded. It's not aggregated. But as I zoom back out, we visually aggregate this data. Okay, and we'll give it to you the overall uh, in a in a big pie display. Note how this this was one big pie display down here earlier, as I was zoomed uh, zoomed out. Well, now we can see where all that selling actually occurred. Okay, we have the specifics uh, of where where this all occurred here. Okay, uh, we actually get a little double test and look at the uh, uh, aggressive selling here. Very little. 
right? So anyway, as I zoom back out, we aggregate it and we'll just give it to you in the overall and there it is for you, okay? So now, now you can see uh, what, this, uh, what this data really meant, okay? Um, all right, that's just the traded volume, okay? And um, uh, we can see then uh, where, the, where the traders are committed. Uh, now let's uh, turn on, uh, well, let's go to the current market. Okay, and let's see, let's see what's going on right now in the uh, limit order book. Okay, why am I going to limit order book? Okay, uh, I I want to see uh, where uh, traders are lined up to to bid and offer uh, in this auction. It gives me insight. Okay, it's good. The dome is good. It gives you insight to uh, where uh, uh, traders are lined up to buy and sell because they're these are the ones making the market. If there's no liquidity. Well, the next, if, this, if there was no, no traders in here um, and uh, uh, they're not providing liquidity here, someone hits the market sell button, uh, the first place it's going to go is where there is liquidity, okay? And the spread is going to widen by like, you know, eight ticks here. Uh, and, uh, and the transaction is going to occur down here at 48.25 if they're providing liquidity there, okay? So now I have an understanding of the depth of the market here. Uh, and uh, and that's good. It gives a very good current state of the market. The problem with the dome is that it doesn't give you the historical state. You're going to have to remember when these numbers change what it was current uh, previously, uh, what um, uh, how much they pulled, uh, how much they added in, where were they previously? Maybe in this swing over in this area here, or maybe this area here. Are they still interested in buying or selling? Uh, or uh, are, what about the bid? What about the areas around it as well? Uh, are they front running it? Or are they um, uh, more bearish and, and, and lifting or pulling their offers and, and put, placing them at higher areas? All of that kind of data is complex and hard to read in a dome. And this is where Bookmap solves that issue because we'll take this data here and we turn it into a heat map, okay? So let's turn that on uh, and we can see it here. Okay, so in this window here, okay, this is the current market as well. This is like your, this is just like the dome right here uh, in book map, the current order book, okay? But in this window, we're showing best bid and offer, last traded volume right here, this number, okay? And then this, this grayscale heat map. This heat map is showing you, it's a, it's a graphical representation of the liquidity here in that limit order book, okay? So when you see uh, these these numbers change, it will be reflected in the heat map. So if you see high liquidity, it's going to be represented by a bright area. Okay. If you see it's uh, a little a little more gray, well that that that's less liquidity. Okay. So look at how quickly this is always changing. Right. These numbers are constantly changing all day long. Okay. Now. It can be a lot to watch, uh, and it can be uh, mentally very taxing. So uh, what we do, though, uh, or what the software does here is we take this graphical data and then we plot it historically onto the chart. So that's what you're looking at here. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's the auction unfolding, okay, the, the evolution of this auction, okay, and it, it gives a lot of insight. Look at how they want to buy here at these areas, okay, high liquidity here, okay, and uh, we can start to put this into context, too. So what kind of, uh, I mean, we know it, they, they want to buy. It's high liquidity. We can look at hundreds of contracts here uh, uh, in um, uh, very aggressive here, uh, close to current price. Okay, they, they want to be buyers here. Okay, so uh, we, we can read that context. Uh, so um, uh, when we, we can start to put together the pieces now uh, of this auction, this is just like going to an auction. And, and you can see that, the, that these buyers here are, are, are uh, kind of jumping over one another and bidding it up. No, I want to be a buyer. I really want to be a buyer. I want to be a buyer at a higher price level. And you can see how price is reacting now to this action in the auction. Okay. It's starting to move up because there's demand. Right. It's how any auction works. Uh, and... Um, uh, look at the insight that we're just we just got from this little auction right here and the aggressive um, behavior uh, in that auction. Okay, so now we can start to 
put together uh, the int buying interest here uh, of um, uh, between um, well it, it was it was between this area here of um, uh, 48 uh, 28 and 30 and 31 okay and, uh, and and where are we going okay we're going back up to test the some of the you know uh, trading ranges here that we're in uh, and and we can see that we've already come up and tested it Okay, and let's see if they continue to uh, to show interest here uh, in that auction. Now we're starting to see sellers on the other side, though. Okay, so up at the top of the range, we get responsive sellers. Now I'm starting to get into some auction market theory, but um, uh, that's okay. Uh, you know, we have our, you can go watch our educational course if you want a little more information on that. All right, so now we have a complete picture uh, of the order flow. Uh, and the traded volume, okay, the tape, uh, and uh, and we can start to uh, uh, read context uh, and put it together. What, where where are the transactions occurring? Okay, uh, what is there a um, are they more uh, at the you know the uh, the lows here, or are they is it starting to shift over and we see more buyers come in uh, at a higher area? Uh, if if so, uh, and uh, you know we see the um, uh, interest in the uh, auction here, well, then I would start to anticipate price to come up and test at least the highs up here and maybe this high liquidity up here uh, at 48.45. Okay, maybe ultimately 48.50. Okay, the, this half figure up here. Okay, there's always a lot of liquidity at these uh, half figures, and we can see that uh, uh, very, very uh, clearly here. All right, okay. Any questions? All right. Well, the um, let's see. What else are we looking at here? Well, th this is actually um, uh, you know something that uh, you know I I may just um, may need to, to jump over into the next webinar and, and cover it there because order flow and a trend. Uh, you can start to read the uh, the volume at higher highs like this. And this is very very typical of a trend. Okay, so uh, why don't we uh, why don't I um, uh, continue on with the advanced analysis on that because you're gonna what you're gonna see is uh, absorption. You're gonna see limit orders up here uh, uh, absorbing some of these uh, higher uh, highs, and you're gonna see areas of exhaustion here uh, on the uh, on the uh, 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 higher lows uh, that uh, in, in that trending environment, and then we start to see a shift here, okay, in that order flow, right? But we're still holding structure. Yeah, Darcy, you want to take a look at the ES? Okay. Um, well, let's uh, we'll see what um, uh, you know what's moving here, uh, but uh, uh, you know, and, and cover some of the phenomena is is what's uh, what's key, uh, so that you guys, when you start to see this unfold for you. Uh, you'll know how to react, okay? Uh, and um, uh, but uh, yeah, we can uh, certainly look at the uh, S and P. So let me uh, take and copy and paste the link again here for you guys, uh, if you want to come join us in one minute at to the uh, the advanced analysis uh, webinar, okay? All right, guys. Yeah, take care. Uh, we'll see you in a minute.